Hey guys, Antonalog here, and I've been looking for an ergonomic mouse ever since my G700S's battery has been acting up, and so far the Nail 7000 looks like a very good mouse. The Nail 7000 is made of a slippery soft touch plastic that feels comfortable in the hand, but also a little bit cheap. It's a light mouse, and there's no weight customization. It's not a big deal for me, but it may be for you. One of the biggest reasons used by this mouse is because of the ergonomics. It has a really peculiar shape that I haven't seen before, but it works well. It supports your ring and pinky finger, and overall it feels very comfortable. One of the biggest gripes I have with the design is that it's hard to lift the mouse up because there's no place to grip the mouse where you're lifting it up, and also the soft touch plastic is quite slippery. The mouse has a lightweight braided cable as well, and it doesn't hinder the movement of the mouse. Okay, this mouse has four macro buttons, two on the side near the thumb, and two behind the scroll wheel for DPI adjustment. The buttons are clicky, and they feel pretty nice when you click them. Here's what they sound like. The button placement could be better though. Given my small hand, my thumb could only reach the closer of the two buttons comfortably on the thumb rest without changing my grip, and I think the DPI buttons could be shifted closer to the scroll wheel. But then again, my hand is quite small and is probably fine for most people. Speaking of a scroll wheel, it's awesome. It's clicky, has defined steps, is easy to press without accidentally scrolling, and is overall a pleasure to use. One of the best scroll wheels I've seen so far on any mouse. The left and right clicks work well, but I found that the right click was stiffer than the left click. Not sure why, but it kind of bothers me. Take a look. On the bottom, we find large Teflon feet that glide very well on my mouse pad, but we see the main star of the show, the Avago ADNS 3310 sensor. It's an optical sensor with no noticeable acceleration in my experience, and it's super accurate. I had no issues of any kind with tracking or skipping pixels at all. Well, in the software, you can assign macros to the buttons, change DPI settings, lift off distance, and change the RGB lights, along with many other functions. The macros work just fine, but when I tried to program the volume up and volume down keys to the browser forward and backward keys, they just didn't work at all. All the other functions work though, so I'm not sure why those specific two keys didn't work. Anyways, you can change the lift off distance, which I thought was pretty cool. One nice feature that some people may find crucial is RGB lighting to match your peripherals. You can change the lights in any color you want, and it's pretty accurate. I've color matched this with my keyboard, and together they look really nice with a dark blue finish. Overall, the software is pretty good. It's smooth and well laid out, and there are lots of different settings you can change. And so far, I haven't experienced any bugs. So in conclusion, is the Nail 7000 a good mouse? Well, yes. It has an accurate sensor, no acceleration, a very good scroll wheel, and an ergonomic design. The only thing I would like to see in a future revision is a more premium feel in the hand and also some weight customization. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.